We're going to talk about a perception in golf, what people are trying to do. It has to do with lag, it has to do with a lot of things, but there's, there's one big concept that what I have seen has really hurt people. In fact, it really hurt me. When you swing a golf club, when the club gets to the top of your swing, this driver, for instance, when it's up here, it only weighs about 12, 14 ounces. The problem is, as soon as that club starts down, it gains in weight and force. And so what's happening is as you start down, this club's getting heavier and heavier, and it doesn't want to go out towards the ball. It wants to fall back behind you. So really, a golf swing is about all these offsetting forces. What you see in a golf swing from a video are effects. So what do you have to feel like to make a swing work? If I take this basket, this, this balls here, and I put it on this club, there's about five pounds there. Now if I put that up there, when you start a club down, the minute it starts down, it gains in weight and force. In fact, a driver, by the time it's waist high, weighs about 20 pounds of force. And that force, gravity, is going straight down. It doesn't want to go out. So what you actually have to do to make this club work, what you have to feel like you're doing, when you're at the top of your swing, when you start down, you have to feel like the handle of the club is coming down and you have to feel like the club head is working out. It's, it's like a steering wheel on a car and this is a car and it's going around a corner. You have to start to turn the wheel before you get to the corner. If you waited until you got to the corner and you turned the wheel, you'd go right into the wall. Okay, so you're up here, you're starting down, the weight of the club wants to go this way, you're trying to turn it the other way. Because of the physiology in your body, those two things match out. So they balance each other out. So all of a sudden, you get into this position that everybody wants to get into. But you're not trying to get there. In fact, you're trying to feel like you're out here. You see a lot of tour players now making practice swings where they get up here and they're doing this. And people say, well, they're coming over the top. No, they're not. They're making a practice swing that's going to offset those forces so the momentum of the club is in the correct arc. So, a good way to practice this. If you just get a tennis racket, you don't have to put a handle on it, just a tennis racket. And you set up to the ball, and you get up to the top of your swing. Now, this is, this is a tennis racket or a, or a steering wheel in a car. Here's the car. So as you start down, you're taking this car and you're turning the corner and you're turning that corner into the ball. It has nothing to do with unhinging your wrist. So this is what a lot of people describe as release. You know, they say they're releasing the club. Well, they're making this move. They're not making this move. They're not unhinging their wrist. So you're taking this, you start down, you turn the weight of the club out in front of you, and now that weight of that club's coming over the top of your hands from inside the target line. So you're basically over the top from the inside. Now, if you put me on a video and I make that practice swing, and then you put me on a video and you watch my swing when I actually hit it, they don't even look close to the same. The biggest thing I've learned in 40 years of teaching this game, golf swing's invisible. You can't see it. What you have to feel like you're doing to make all these things show up that people want, it's not exactly that particular thing. There's multiple effects and multiple forces go in different directions. Try that little drill. I know you're going to get more control of the club, you get a lot more speed, and you hit the ball in the fairway.